Hello everyone, this is Utpal Sina from the SSM Academy. So today in this lecture, we will be discussing what is an add-on domain and how you can set up add-on domains on your Namecheap hosting. So what exactly is an add-on domain? So most of the Namecheap plans, first of all, let me just show you the pricing plans. See here. So these are the shared hosting plans and I'm sure most of you might have taken this Stellar or Stellar Plus hosting plan. And if you read the description, you could see in the Stellar hosting plan, I can host up to three websites and in the Stellar Plus hosting plan, I can host unlimited websites, right? So as you can see in the Stellar plan, I can host up to three websites. So I already have a website with Stellar package. So now let me just show you how I can add an add-on domain with my Stellar package. So for that, first of all, let me just go ahead and log into my Namecheap dashboard. So this is my Namecheap dashboard. And this is the domain you could see online vidya.xyz. So this is the domain that I have just purchased earlier just to show you the process. So now what I want, I want to add this particular domain as an add-on domain to another hosting that I have in Namecheap. I hope you guys are getting my point. If you have any kind of problem or if you have any kind of question, please go ahead and leave a comment below. I will definitely try to help you. So anyway, this is the domain name which I have purchased earlier and now I want to add this domain name as an add-on domain with my existing hosting package, right? So, so now let me just show you the primary domain name. Uh, see here, rich2know.com. So if I go ahead and click on manage. So this is the domain, rich2know.com. So this domain is on Stellar package. So if I go ahead and click on products, so you will see, see here. So I have Stellar hosting, you could see. So since it is Stellar, since it is Stellar, I am eligible to host up to three websites. So now let me just show you how I can set up an another domain to be hosted on this particular hosting package. So the first step is you have to change the name servers of your, uh, you know, of your uh, domain name which you want to add as an add-on domain with your hosting package. So in my case, the domain name is already in Namecheap. So you need to go to your dashboard and you need to select whatever is the domain name. In my case, uh, the domain is uh, onlinevidya.xyz. So I will just go ahead and click on manage button. So here under uh, name servers, you could see here under name server, make sure that it is Namecheap web hosting DNS. In most cases, it will be set as Namecheap basic DNS. So make sure you have set up it as Namecheap web hosting DNS and just click on save. So once you have changed the setting, you need to make sure that you wait at least around one hour to complete this integration. And after that, once this integration has been completed. After that, what you have to do, you have to just visit your dashboard and you have to choose the primary domain name which is associated with your hosting package. So in my case, this is the primary domain name. So I will just uh, go ahead and click on manage button and then I will click on products and see here. This is my hosting package. So I will visit cPanel. I hope you guys know cPanel is a control panel where you, where you can actually, uh, you know, control all the settings and things like that which are related to your hosting server. Right. So now I am on my cPanel dashboard and as you can see, I have a primary domain associated with this particular hosting package. You could see rich to knowcom So... If I scroll down, you could see I can add up to 
two more add-on domains. So anyway, now let me just show you how you can add an add-on domain. So here under domains, you have an option called add-on domain, right? So here is where you can actually set up your new domain name with your hosting, existing hosting server. So just click on this add-on domains option. Great. So now whatever is the domain name, just give it here. So in my case, the domain name is online vidya dot x y z right correct now just click on add add domain so you don't need to create any details or any kind of ftp account or things like that just click on add domain correct so we could see the add-on domain has been created so i will just click on go back so as soon as you click on the add domain button you could see your domain will be added here right so and one thing i just want to tell you always make sure after adding your domain name you wait for some time to make this integration happen properly and if at all your HTTPS is not working properly, what you can do is just uh, click on this nine dots and just visit this uh, Namecheap SSL section. And under install via Namecheap SSL, you have a button called sync. You could see the status is showing me in progress, right? So in your case, if you have just added an add-on domain, see in my case, this is my add-on domain, right? Onlinevidya.xyz. So if you have just added your add-on domain, it will be showing as in progress. So if it is not working, just go to this uh, particular Namecheap SSL section and just click on this sync button. See here, it's saying me, please allow up to 25 minutes for SSL activation and installation, right? See here, now it's showing like active, right? You could see, we installed SSL for online vidya.xyz, right? So, but make sure that with all this integration, it takes somewhere around 30 minutes to one hour to get ready. So even if you click sync and it shows you active, sometimes it may not be working and you will have to wait at least around one hour to get this working. So now if you want, you can install WordPress and start building your website. So to install WordPress, just click on this nine dots and just uh, go to Softaculous Apps Installer and select the particular option here you can select this WordPress tab see here now just click on install now see so first it will show you the primary domain name which is in my case my primary domain name is reach to know.com so here just click on this drop down and just choose your domain see here so this is the domain name where i want i want to install wordpress right so in my case i don't want to install wordpress on my primary domain i want wordpress to be installed on my add on domain so i will click on this drop down and i will just choose the particular domain name right so great so it seems like absolutely perfect for me so now it's just the normal process of installing wordpress and so fine so this is the way that how you can actually set up an add-on domain with an existing hosting server 
so now if you have any kind of questions or if you have any kind of doubts please go ahead and leave a comment below i will definitely try to help you as early as possible so that's it that's it for this video thank you thanks for watching this video i will see you in the next one thank you take care bye bye